Well, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. This is my second live this evening. <laughs> I'm very, very live. Um, so, guys, over the next couple of days, because the Legends of the Digital World is starting on the 17th of March, um, we do have a preview on the 16th of March, which I'll tell you about later. Um, we're going to just, I've kind of asked a lot of the speakers to come in and talk about who they are, where they are, what they're using now that's working on the internet. Because as I've said, if you didn't see the live I've done earlier, if you haven't been on the page, then you should be. Um, go register. The, um, I will put a link in underneath this when um, I actually hand over to Milton and I shut up for five minutes. Um, so I want to introduce you to uh, Milton Brown. So, Milton, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself rather than me telling them about yourself? All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Milton Brown, and I hope you're having a great day today. And if you're not having one yet, I hope it starts now. <laughs> um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been in the digital marketing realm for quite a while, and I was blessed to be mentored by some of the greats, including uh, Matt Basak, who's the speaker on this event as well. And through the years, I've learned a lot of cool things, um, a lot of cool things that because there's a difference between learning cool things and doing things that actually have results. Uh, to me, it's cooler to have results. So during the time period, I've gone through uh, creating my own business. At one point, I was a vice president of a national, national marketing, marketing um, digital, digital marketing, marketing agency. agency. Now, now I, I do some consulting, consulting work. work. Um, and I just continue to immerse myself in this world of digital marketing. And I continue to learn something new each day to uh, help my clients and anyone else around the world. And on a side note, I also have a major passion for helping our youth. Um, I, whenever I have any speaking events, I try to let, plug that in because we really need to help our youth. And um, so far, we've had a program that uh, my mother and I have started, and we've helped over 400 children um, receive free academic tutoring and summer camp um, and uh, children of need in the Durham area. So with when you're doing things that work, you always need to go back and help others, and the children is where I like to go. So I just wanted to step on my soapbox just for a second, just for a second. Uh, but that's just a little bit about me. No, that 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 is absolutely amazing. I think I, I would agree with you. It's it, paying it forward. You know, is always always a good thing, and a lot of people, um, you know, talk. It's kind of the. I should have actually um, called this, the, you know, people who walk the walk and talk the talk. <laughs> because, uh, and it was a conversation, we won't go negative on it, but it was a conversation we had earlier with Monique, is that, like, you know, there's so many people coming out and they, they say they're doing stuff and they're not. But I, I met Milton a couple of years back um, and he's always impressed me as a very genuine, honest human being. And I loved what he was doing with the, the kids. Uh, especially kids who wouldn't have, say, the same opportunities as we would have over the side of the world. Um, you know, our education system in Ireland is quite good. Um, and in in relations, it everything can be fixed. <laughs> everything can be better. If you ask the kids, it's never good. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> Nobody wants to sit down, yes. sit down, and shut up, and do it. So, Milton, you're coming on, and we we were having a, a quick chat earlier, and you're talking about gamification to a degree in businesses so let's talk about that let's talk about how you're going to your talk the system that you develop for your clients and how it's working and the kind of results that you're getting with it yes business gamification has been seen in some form for as long as you remember. you can go back and look at every example from contests to giveaways or so whatnot but we're at an age where we have so much technology and tools in our hands um, that we forget about the overall aspect of you want the human to do this. You want the other person there. So I've created a system that focuses more on connecting with each other and using um, reward systems to help promote the product and increase sales. With this one is specifically for uh, building lists, but I did create a plan for them to um, increase sales and uh, 
bring in revenue they just haven't implemented yet i'm one thing about me i'm completely transparent i'm gonna i'm not gonna sugarcoat things i want to tell you the truth so if they didn't put the sales process in i'm not going to tell you oh they made a million dollars because they could potentially make no they didn't put it in yet so they didn't make anything yet but they did um off a small budget get a a great return and it's all u.s tier one traffic um for those of you so what's tier one traffic Tier one traffic is pretty much the high quality traffic of the U.S., the Great Britons, the U.K.'s, um, pretty much first world countries. Um, and they're usually more expensive to target towards because <laughs> they're first world countries. <laughs> so I was able to target only tier one, specifically just the U.S. for this one. Because it's a U.S. based country, they haven't um, went internationally, and um, great made great results off a test budget of, you're not even gonna believe this, seventeen dollars, <laughs> seventeen dollars, and I brought them just under a thousand subs. <laughs> That's the power of gamification. <laughs> I'm gonna work that out. Yeah, specifically, they got 918. So, for 17 bucks divided by 918, that's just shy of two cents a lead. Two cents a lead, not a click, a lead. <laughs> wow. That's nuts. Just to give you an idea, guys, um, anybody who's new to this and watching it, um, so when we talk about building lists, so your idea is you want to bring people in so that you can email them. Um, some people say email is dead. Uh, that's complete and absolute nonsense. The reason I know this is, you know, the platform we're talking on send me emails three times a week. So if Facebook <laughs> are sending emails, you kind of know that they must be working. Um, and you know, if you do go to Facebook and you do advertise to get a lead, because I've done, you know, you can get actually advertise and get people to subscribe stuff. So, uh, certainly this side of the water any tests I've done have always been about between 8 and 10 bucks a lead right so like so you'd get 2 leads <laughs> on Facebook or 980 for what Milton is going to show and so the, the bet, but you're also did they get any other benefit outside of the subs did you do Facebook likes impressions did they get anything yes I also set it up where uh, I'll go more into this at the uh our presentation because I want you to show up <laughs> but I did implement something as well within the system that encouraged them to like their fan page and they didn't have a big Twitter following so I didn't um, push that as um, much I didn't really do a lot on Twitter yet but um, I can implement where they get followers and these are all real people um, <laughs> but I put that in there no and, bots. Uh, <laughs> But the uh, the fan page got a significant increase, um, and it was mostly off the organic portion of the gamification process. And um, so, ba so, so basically, what you did with this, from from what we talked about earlier, is you, you set it up. You got you threw you threw some money at it as the the fuel, and then it took off by itself, right? Yeah, pretty much. Once it took off. They uh hand your pockets and just let the leads come. Exactly. That's exactly what happened for um, the short version of it. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's it's like any any time because it, even with folks, a lot of people don't realize that even with Facebook, right? That if if you get in a thousand subscribers, thousand leads, whatever word you want to use with it, opt-in subscribers, leads, you know. There's about a million different words. They all mean the same thing. Somebody stood up and actually gave you their email address. Uh, you can actually import that email address in back into Facebook and run a campaign directly to those people. And that's way more effective than... You know, I, know, I learned marketing a long time ago, right? Uh, <laughs> over 30 years ago. And the guy, this guy said a couple of things that still... A guy called Murray Rayfield, a fantastic man. And he, he was really, really clever guy and he says which would you like to do machine gun marketing or sniper marketing and he said they're a horrible analogy but you're going hunting right and you get a machine gun and you run up and down outside the woods and you go Grrr! 
And he said, I hope something ran into that. Right? Which is what an awful lot of people do marketing. They go out and they don't know who their audience is. They don't know who the demographic is. They throw money up and then it doesn't work. You don't get the result. Well, you know, crap in, unfortunately, it's crap out. But then you want to do what like Milton is doing, which is sniper marketing then, is because all of a sudden, like, and it's a horrible analogy, and I don't, I've never hunted in my life, I'll just say that, but like, you see the deer in, at the river and bang, and down it goes, right? And But from a marketing perspective, that's always what you want to do. The more effective your marketing is, the, the less cost it takes. And it, it's funny that you're saying it, because I, one of the things that I talk about for, to businesses is the fact that you know you should always do paid marketing first and free marketing second because mm-hmm. free marketing has got so expensive and you were saying it's like, like let's run down this rabbit hole for five minutes because i love it <laughs> the, algor- the, the algorithm changes with, with facebook i think facebook are like a magician right and i think everything to do a major change they bring out this the gorgeous assistant called the algorithm changes <laughs> <laughs> You know, and we're all watching the guards assistant while your man is moving the rabbit around the back around his back to take it over the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But with the gorgeous assistant the algorithm change, it actually helped us. Because um I'm sure all well those that have been following this, uh, if you're new to this, you might not have heard it or but you've seen the results. They changed it where you're seeing more um of family and friends, friends related to, to you rather, rather than more businesses, businesses or whatnot. Not They're trying to niche it down for certain, certain things that happen. Um, um, but that worked, worked in our favor so much because the way we positioned this system, they, they were sharing it with, with their friends and with, with their, their families. families. So, so Facebook, Facebook saw, oh, wow. wow. This is, uh, they're, they're sharing this with, with their family and with their friends. This must be something that more, more people need to see that are connected to them. So more people that are connected to them, um, engage with it. And the more engagement that happened, the more it was seen instead of just, you know, falling to the wayside where only three people on their news feed sees it. So the algorithm, the lovely assistant, actually was very lovely to us on this one. Well, it's an in-win, and, and and that that that's one of the oper- it's one of the challenges for for people coming in. But it's also like I believe there's an awful lot of balance in these things. It's a huge opportunity because the fact that they keep changing means there's opportunity for you to get ahead and, and to learn. Which again, coming on legends of the digital world and having the likes of Milton come on and showing you stuff that you can do virally that's going to share put you ahead of your competition again and it gives you the opportunity to jump forward the opportunity to do something different the opportunity and interesting because we're talking about business and this is for people who want to make a second income who have experience on the internet who don't who have no experience on the internet because we've got such a range of speakers i've tried to cover every single topic and I've one or two more that I'm still talking and we might even go longer. <laughs> I'll be about four store like this by the time it's over. But it, it's it's to come up with that because whether it's a business or anything else, it doesn't matter. The, the techniques and the, the strategies are always the same. And you want to get your business. And if you're making a second income or if you're trying to start, you're a business. You've got to take the mentality that you're a business. When we talk business, it doesn't matter who you are. But the opportunity that you now have is phenomenal with this. Because everything it, does a change. It's great. And exactly. And for people like us in our field, is also very great because the business owners, they don't want to learn this. They're focused on doing what they're, what they're doing, doing, running their, their business. business. They don't, they don't want to have to, oh, oh I got to learn retard. What is retarding? I got to do pixel. What is a pixel? I have to place this where? Bring, bring us in. in. This, this is what we do. do. We, we learned, learned this. This is this, this is fun, fun for us. This is what, what we enjoy because when you enjoy it, it's it never work. work. And, and um, that's, that's why I totally agree, agree with the opportunity out there is unlimited because there are people who just want to run their business. They don't want to do this. So if you, you know this and you're at the cutting edge and learn this material that we're learning and all these great speakers that are going to be on this event learning, you're just a step ahead. You step in and say, hey. This is what you can have, and I can do it for you. Well, the thing, the thing I like about the event, and I'm going to keep saying this, guys, is we're bringing people like Milton on who have done this, who are using this, who are using it today in their business. 
It's not a theory, an idea, a concept that might work. This is something that's got tangible results and has huge benefits to your business, um, no matter what level you're at. So we have you coming. We're not going to give the schedule yet, right? So I'm, I'm going to cheat because uh, I want people to turn up to as many of the events as they can. So Milton will be on, right? That's, we can guarantee, We can assure you that. We're going to be a little bit uh, teasing. You need to register to find out. I was going to put the schedule on the front page, and I said, you know what? You need to register because we. this is all for free. Right? Milton's coming on and giving his time for free. Right, Every single workshop, live workshop is for free. So you're getting a phenomenal amount of value you know, to register. If you're not going to register, then you know, we can't help you. <laughs> Just be completely blunt about it. You know, I'm really not being very, very marketing about this. It's like, you know, and I don't mean to be arrogant about it or, or obnoxious, but it's just a situation of like, you know, people like Milton are coming on and giving their time, so you should get on it. So Milton, give us three things if you can. I'm walking them into it now because, guys, just to tell you, all of these interviews are not rehearsed. I was on to Milton for five minutes beforehand, so a lot of times they have no idea what's coming on because I have no idea what I'm going to ask. So give us three. Give us three reasons why you have to turn off to hear you talk. Okay. The first reason is I'm working on getting something very cool to give away to a very special person on the web webinar. webinar. It, it could be you, but, but you have, have to show, show up. up. I'm, I'm, you're, you're going to, um, a lot, a lot of you will see stuff, stuff on my page. page. I'm going to promote this as well. well. And, and um, I, will I will let you know what it is. is. I'm not going to tell you now because you're going to have to register to the event. And if you win and you're not on the webinar, guess what? I'm going to give it to the next person that's on the webinar. So that's the first reason. Second, Second reason is, is everything, everything that I'm going to teach you I'm, I'm, is, is something that you can just actually do it. Do it. And I have about, about nine, nine years teaching elementary, elementary students. students. So, so if I can teach an elementary student, student I'm, I'm pretty sure, sure I can teach an adult, adult as well. well. So, so I'm, I'm going, going to be straight, straight to the point. point. I'm going to do it. Uh, it's going to be easy to follow me. me. I may use some, some technical, technical terms, terms, but I will explain what, what they mean to uh, a very layman's term. term. And, and three, you're going to have fun. fun. You're going to learn. learn. You're going to have fun. Something, something that can uh, increase you. But I like, I like to have. I like to smile. You see, I smile like 98 percent of the This is real life. I, I like, like to have, have fun. fun. Why, Why do it if you're not going to have fun? So come out and smile with me. Have fun. Learn something. And get, get something nice. And um, I'm, I'm putting up the final details for it. But it, it, it's I'm, I'm going to give, give you something. But what, what I have in mind, oh, oh trust me, you're going to want it. But like I said, if you're not on the webinar, you're not going to get it. So you're going to have to go and register to find out. So guys, there you have it. Um, this is Milton. He's going to show you how to gamify your business and get, to get people to actually want to give you their email address. Um, he got email subscriptions for under two cents. It's just nuts, <laughs> right? So he's he's getting he's giving you all of this and how to gamify your business and how to get people to react and get people to engage and. He's got an awful lot more to show you in relation to the medium we're talking on and how it will help you with that and with the algorithm changes, he said. So it doesn't matter if you're not interested in even building an email list. No, in all honesty, guys, every single person, no matter what your business is, get interested in building an email list, okay? Because the amount of power that that gives you, you can talk directly to people, you can upload them into Facebook, you can upload them into Twitter and follow them, you can do all of these different things once you know who the people are. If you don't know who they are, and that's one of the challenges with Facebook. Now, let's be honest. If I was Facebook, I wouldn't give you the information either. But you see, oh, you got a thousand impressions. That's great. But you don't know one of those people that gave you the impre that you made an impression with. So what difference does it make? You know, it's like being the most handsome person on the planet, but on a remote island on your own. It makes no difference. <laughs> You know, and as you can gather, we're we're gonna have a bit of fun, as we'd say over here, a bit of crack, um, and have a bit of gas and a laugh, and we we'll enjoy the event. So, Milton, thanks very much for taking the time out on a Sunday to come talk to us. We do appreciate it and, your, and the time that you're given. And you know, as I said, guys, 
I know Milton, um, most of the people on this, there's been a couple of other, there's so many people coming on that I haven't met, I'll be perfectly blunt, but they've been vouched for by people that I completely trust. Um, so everybody that's coming on this has been vetted, they know what they're doing, they talk the talk, walk the walk, and Milton is going to show you exactly how he's done this for a company, and uh, for a business, and how you can do the same, and how you can make money from that. Do you want to say anything else, Milton, or will we call it a day? We'll, we'll call, call it a day. Thank, Thank you for inviting, inviting me, and, and I look forward, forward to seeing every one of you there. Absolutely. Guys, have a great evening, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs> See you. <laughs>